Hello students, welcome back to our channel Diksha Karnataka. So as you all know, tomorrow is your KSET Chemistry 2024 exam. So in this video, I'll be discussing the most important things that you must revise today night. Okay. So I'll be telling you the important topics and subtopics and how to revise them. Okay. So now let us see here. Uh, see, these are the most important. It's not like you have to revise only these things, but these are the things that you must not leave before entering the exam hall. Okay. So if, if you have time, you should revise other things also. So now coming to the first, the most important topics that are there. So, you know, physical chemistry, we have solutions, electrochemistry, kinetics, equilibrium and structure of atom. So, these are the most important topics from physical chemistry. Then from organic chemistry, aldehydes, alcohols, amines, haloalkanes and biomolecules. Then in inorganic chemistry, coordination compounds, D and F block, chemical bonding, redox reaction and classification of elements. Okay. So, these are some of the important topics that you should revise. Now coming to the first topic that is physical chemistry in solutions chapter. Okay. These are the key points that you must revise. First is concentration terms. In concentration terms, revise molarity, molality and mole fraction. Okay. Because these three terms will be used for all other formulas also. So prepare them. The next very, very important, most important topic is colligative properties. From colligative properties, you have relative lowering of vapor pressure, elevation in boiling point, depression in freezing point and osmotic pressure. So students please listen, PU2 chapters are very important and solutions, kinetics and electrochemistry are the most important topics. So please revise them and it is very scoring topic also. Okay. Next positive and negative deviation with examples. Uh, in this you should also study like what are ideal and non-ideal examples under non-ideal positive and negative uh, examples. Also, you should prepare azeotropic mixture in that maximum boiling and minimum boiling azeotrope. So, prepare. So, nothing to read in this. Just remember one one example for each. Now, coming to Vantov factor. So, Vantov factor for dissociation, association, how to calculate that. And one more thing that you have to learn, prepare here is Raoult's law. Okay, just. So, just remember just it will take hardly 5 minutes or 5 to 6 minutes I can say to revise these all concepts from this chapter. So, 10 minutes you can de uh, dedicate to re revise solutions chapter all the formulas clear. Now, coming to chemical kinetics in chemical kinetics also first is rate law in differential rate law how to write the differential rate law that you should know. Next integrated rate law for 0 and first order this is important first order is very very important that k equal to 2.303 by t log of a naught by a this formula is very important just revise that formula then half life half life t half is equal to 0 0.693 by k this formula revise questions are asked from here Arrhenius equation very very important just check the graph properly for this and the formula for this okay t1 t2 k1 k2 activation energy so just revise this formula then the general formula for units of k that is moles to the power of 1 minus n liter to the power of n minus 1 second inverse right so you can also dedicate like around 10 to 15 minutes here for this chapter i'll tell 10 minutes for this chapter right here also you can just take 10 minutes to just go through all the formulas now coming to electrochemistry, this is also a topic which you are scared of more, most of the students. But just focus on these four topics in this one. Molar conductance, how to calculate lambda, how to calculate kappa. That two formulas are there in Faraday's law, first law and second law. Okay, Especially first law questions are asked m is equal to z into i into t, how to calculate z value. Then Nernst equation, just remember the equation E naught of the cell, how to calculate E of the cell, how to calculate then equilibrium conditions is very very important here the questions are asked one is delta g is equal to minus nf of e naught of the cell this one question is asked and then you have one more formula that is e naught of the cell is equal to 0 0.059 by n log of k right so these two formulas are very important so again you can see just quickly you can revise these topics so another 15 minutes you can take for revising these concepts okay so tomorrow you have both the papers physics and chemistry so you have only one evening left for this so just try to divide the time accordingly and whatever your strength is you can give more time to the part which you are you which you want more revision divide it accordingly for today's evening and plan it okay now coming to equilibrium so equilibrium is a low like you can expect one question from equilibrium chapter so just let us see what are the terms here 
first is expression in terms of pressure and concentration here nothing is there product concentration by reactant concentration raised to the power of their stoichiometry coefficients then relation between kp and kc how to find ng this is important next lee chatelier principle is very important just revise all the factors concentration concentration temperature pressure just revise these all factors now solubility product what is the general formula for solubility product x to the power of x y to the power of y s to the power of x plus y now coming to acid base theory here questions are asked like what is the conjugate base of this one what is the conjugate acid of this one right so just prepare all the three acid base theory that is your lewis theory arrhenius theory and your bronsted theory right bronsted theory is very important where you have to calculate the or you have to find the conjugate acid and conjugate base next ph of weak acid this formula how to calculate root over of kb into c or root over of k into c then ph of buffer there are two types of buffer acidic buffer and bas basic buffer how to calculate their ph only learn the formulas okay then ph of salt hydrolysis we have three types of salt uh, like salts weak acid weak base strong acid weak base and weak ba uh, acid strong base so just calculate uh, like the formulas for each of them in my video for important formulas in physical chemistry i have discussed all these formulas so just you can just a 10 15 minutes video you can just go and revise all these formulas right okay so this one another 15 minutes you can take so you can see we have just divided one in one hour we could we are almost able to complete the physical chemistry most important topics okay structure of atom here energy of photon energy of photon is your e is equal to h, h nu or hc by lambda this formula very common remember the Planck's constant value and then hydrogen spectra Lyman series Balmer series Bastian series bracket p fund what are the n1 values and n2 values that you have to calculate de Broglie hypothesis very important questions are asked from here here unit conversions from meter to nanometers that you should know so lambda is equal to h by p then uncertainty principle questions are also important very easy to calculate and then most important is your quantum numbers and one more is nodes okay so what are the ranges of different quantum numbers principle azimuthal magnetic and then spin quantum number then what is the formula of radial nodes angular nodes and your uh, total number of nodes right so all physical chemistry these important formulas i have completed in a video in which you can see in our channel that is the most important formulas of physical chemistry if you haven't prepared any notes you can watch this or you can revise from your notes okay so these all things you can complete within one hour okay just revise or like not even one hour within 40 50 minutes you should be able to complete okay now do not go for any questions or anything just learn or see the review the formulas once again okay now coming to organic chemistry in case of aldehydes ketones and carboxylic acid just focus on preparation methods in the uh, uh, reaction uh, part nucleophilic addition nucleophilic addition is very important and the important part is ammonia derivative addition of ammonia derivative that is important this one is very very important aldol condensation and canizaro reaction so just know how to find out this uh, reaction now preparation of carboxylic acid that is the oxidation of alcohols so are the different methods next reaction in the carbolic carboxylic acid these three reactions are involved cleavage of oh bond cleavage of co bond and the group involving cooh group so only two three reactions are there in all just revise them once then we have substitution reactions in hydrocarbon part this is also there and then acidity of carboxylic acid is one of the more important topic okay acidity of carboxylic acid how to decide you should know electron withdrawing group increases the acidity and electron donating group decreases the acidity okay now coming to next alcohols phenols ethers for all the organic chapters you have to follow the same thing preparation chemical properties and physical properties right so in preparation again alcohols phenols and ethers important methods are diazonium salt from diazonium salt wood synthesis and cumin process okay these are the important methods for preparation of alcohols and uh, sorry phenols and ethers then acidity of alcohols again very important topic okay again the same thing electron withdrawing what is the effect of electron withdrawing group and electron donating group okay next oxidation reactions of alcohols this is important primary alcohols are oxidized to what secondary alcohols to what tertiary alcohols 
in which conditions they can be oxidized. Then we have certain tests to uh, decide between primary, secondary and tertiary like Lucas test, what is the reagent, what are the uh, consequences for tertiary, secondary and primary. Next, electrophilic substitution on phenols, this is very important. So, you should know here what is your ortho para directing and which one is meta directing, right. So, these all things are done. Next is cleavage of ethers, this is the most important topic, okay. So, when you add, uh, take any ether and add HI, so what is the product formed, okay. In which case we, in which case H is attached to which part, halogen pa uh, is attached to which part. So, these all things you can just revise, do not forget to revise, this is very important cleavage of ethers. Next, coming to the another important topic that is amines, focus on preparation of amines, then in that this method Gabriel thalamide synthesis that is important and then basicity of amines is very, very important. Then here we have in aqueous phase, okay, one is in aqueous phase and in gas phase, Okay, in aqueous phase we have two things in ethyl, in presence of ethyl group and in presence of methyl group, right. So, if you remember in aqueous phase for ethyl group the order is 2 degree, 3 degree and 1 degree, in methyl group it is 2 degree, 1 degree and 3 degree, right. So, just revise these things, then chemical properties of amines, what are its reactions and then test for amines that there is carbylamine test, right, then there is Hinsberg test. Right. So, just remember what are the products, what are the, uh, how to identify this test based on, how to identify the type of amines based on these tests, okay. Now, coming to biomolecules, in biomolecules revise the classification of carbohydrates with example. This is very important, like what are the uh, monosaccharide examples, disaccharide examples, okay, and then aldose, ketose, these examples, just table is there, just remember those examples carefully. Reducing sugar, non-reducing sugar, very, very important, okay. Next, this is important in disaccharides, like for example, uh, lactose is a disaccharide. What are its monomer units and which carbon to which carbon is connected? So, just revise that one, very important. Then protein structure and bonds. So, what are the primary, secondary, tertiary, quaternary, their functions and the bonds present between them? This is again very important. In your NCRT book, this vitamin deficiency and diseases are given in a table. So, at least remember the diseases, okay. Disease is very important, questions are asked on that part. So, revise that part definitely. Then hormones and their functions, some important hormones like insulin and all their functions you can remember. And then nucleic acid, okay. What are the um, components of a nucleic acid? What are the functions of nucleic acid? Then what are the bonds between where the phosphate bond is present, okay. So, some basic information about nucleic acid, but most important is this one, disaccharide, this one in proteins, what is zwitter ion, okay. Isoelectric points, some important, important definitions, just scan your book once and just, or if you have prepared the short notes, just go through it, nothing very difficult, this chapter, scoring and easy topic, just you can take around, I can say around 5 to 10 minutes for this chapter is enough if you have already studied it before. If you haven't studied at all, don't do it at now. Okay, next, coming to inorganic chemistry, most important chapter is your coordination chemistry. In this, nomenclature is a must question, just prepare as many examples as you can, till today also you can solve some 10-15 questions to hold, hold a grip on this topic, nomenclature is very important. Next, in Werner's theory, questions are asked based on primary valency and the applications of secondary valency, the precipitation process is asked. So, you can just see in NCRT some examples are also there after Werner's theory, just go through them. And in valence bond theory, there are four important compounds that is COF6, CONH3 whole 6, right? And then you have uh, NiCl4 and NiCN4, right? So, just try to remember or try to understand their hybridization. Uh, so, what all things you can prepare for this one, hybridization, magnetic property and your geometry, okay. So, these for these four topics, these things are given in the NCRT book, just, just watch them once, revise them once. Then coming to CFSE, in coming to, in CFSE you have to think about a strong field ligand, weak field ligand, okay, deep orbital splitting d orbital splitting for octahedral 
and tetrahedral. Okay. So with this, we can complete this chapter. So it's not very questions will not be difficult students just you should know the basics of all the chapters and you should be able to finish it on time okay that is what is the crack for this exam now coming to dnf block elements in dnf block elements this is very mandatory without studying electro uh, electronic and configurations you cannot do any questions from this chapter even if you haven't studied this i'll recommend you have to read it it will take hardly 5 to 10 minutes with full focus, if you study, you can easily remember this, okay? So, electronic configuration from scandium to zinc. Those who have not remembered till now, you must remember it today before going to the exam tomorrow, right? Okay. Next, important trends. You have to just revise atomic size, ionization enthalpy, density, melting point and boiling point and electrode potential, okay? Next, consequences of lanthanide contraction. We have three important consequences. So, just try to revise them, okay? Now, the last one that is chemical bonding from inorganic chemistry. Here, you should do one, one question will be asked from your formal charge calculation. So, just revise the formula once again. Then, we have bond order calculation and bond parameters. So, how to calculate the bond order and how to connect it with the bond length. Next, Vesper theory is very, very important. So, just know how to calculate the lone pairs, bond pairs, then how to find the hybridization and the shape of or the geometry of the molecule, okay. From here, some questions will definitely be asked. You can prepare xenon compounds. Okay, these are the important and then ClF3, SF4. Okay, so these are the compounds whose uh, structures and all should be remembered. Now, la uh, next is your dipole moment. So, how to calculate the dipole moment? Then, like questions like where net dipole moment will be zero. So, there are some numericals or some examples of dipole moment you can practice. Okay, okay, so. These were the topics that you should revise today uh, before going to the exam. So, if uh, like it is the most important topics, if you have time, you can go for other topics also. But these are the topics that you must revise, okay? So, if you have found this video useful, please like, share and subscribe the channel and all the very best for your exam.